Well, I've been in practice now for over 15 years. Uh, I spent 20 years uh, with the U.S. Navy practicing as a surgeon, and then I retired back in 2015, and then I joined this practice here in Richmond in August of 2015. My primary focus when I came here was really on foregut surgery, which deals with reflux and heartburn. GERD is basically short for gastroesophageal reflux disease, and that's basically a disease where the acid in your stomach tends to gravitate up into your esophagus, and that translates into heartburn symptoms that patients will experience. It's a disease that affects probably about 21, 22 million people in the United States, so it's very prevalent. Most folks are dealing with this on a daily basis by taking medications, whether they're self-medicating, going to their local pharmacy, or getting a prescription from their uh, physicians. So ultimately, the meds are there to help control this acid that they feel in through their chest most of the time to relieve their symptoms. Reflux is acid coming up, and it usually translates into heartburn. Patients will say, I have reflux, or they'll complain of burning. They can be synonymous, um, and they're interchangeable. Traditionally, medications have been really in the forefront. Uh, they're easily accessible now because so many of them have become generic and they're over the counter. So a lot of patients have really come to uh, self-medicate when they get symptoms. They go to their local pharmacy, purchase the medications, and take them. Others uh, find that over-the-counters don't work, so then they seek out their physician and then usually end up on prescription medications that sometimes are a little bit uh, stronger or more effective for them. I think for the patients that have really bad reflux, it truly does affect their quality of life to the point where it can be almost debilitating. Some patients may have an occasional bout of reflux. I think most folks across the board at some point in time have experienced it. I kind of focus on that patient that comes in saying, you know, if I don't take my medications, I just get severe burning in through my chest. You know, I can't sleep. I, I can't function. Those are really the patients that we try to target.